a beautiful, beautiful summer morning finally again after like three days of crummy rain. It's freezing out here, but it's cloud free and we are down at First Dam. And I just got this just hankering yesterday to go fishing with my boys and I wanted to start taking them one by one and go fishing and I brought Cody out to come fishing with me. For the first time here at First Dam, you've never fished at First Dam before, have you? Mm -mm. This is my pole from when I was a little boy. It's not the greatest pole in the world, but but guess what? That catches fish, and that's a good fishing pole right there. Can you hold on to that one for me today? We have to crouch down over by the car, not necessarily because it's too cold, but because the wind is so bad. The, the breeze is just gonna be <laughs> across the camera the entire time. So we're over here by the car, huddling down. We got all of our gear out ready to go, but this is the only place where there's no noise, so. <laughs> We're in tight spaces. We'll get some good shots out there though. You gotta put a spinner on. Okay. One of these things, and when it sinks, that means you caught a fish. When that sinks, I caught a fish? Mm -hmm. All right, bud. Well, this is your pole going out right now. A few of the old timers in my neighborhood have fished this area quite a bit. They said the key to here is a little bit of marshmallow and a little bit of worm. And that is that is it. And not like power bait marshmallows, just good old fashioned mini marshmallows right there. And some worms and you're gonna catch stuff. And I have been fishing with them before and I have just thrown a line out and pulled a fish in every time. But when I come out on my own, I just haven't been able to do it. I don't know what the difference is. So we'll see if we can try it again and get us a fish today. I'm positive that's just like a branch or something, but that is the creepiest looking little branch thing I think I've ever seen in my life. It looks like the back of a turkey. Creepy. All right, Cody, I'm ready for your first ever cast. Let's see it. Woo! Hey, it went somewhere. Okay, flip your thing over and reel it in. Okay, flip it in. Hey, get out of there, ducks. You, bud, you got a duck eating your worm. <laughs> the ducks eat. Reel it in, reel it in, pull it in. That's silly duck. Hey. That's my son's bait. There you go, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Okay, we're still good. They didn't get you. Oh, silly stupid ducks. Well, we didn't catch a single thing or get a single bite, but I don't feel too bad because I talked to a couple of other anglers out here and they said they've been fishing here for months now and because the water is so high that the fish just aren't biting for some reason. I don't, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but they said they are used to getting like 10 to 15 fish a day fishing here. Nothing this year, just the water is so high. So it's not me, it's not me. That's good to know, it's not me. I'm still a good fisherman. Not really at all, but it was fun anyway. I think Cody had a good time and we'll try it again. <gasps> Hi, can I have these? <laughs> He's like, no. Okay, <laughs> I want to hear all about Fairy Camp. Yeah, oh, that is really cool. I like that. I made a, I made a paper. That oh, is cool. Did you see the frog? Yeah. On Friday we are. Okay. I made a painted one. Oh my goodness. And then I made purple slime. Purple slime. So it was turquoise, and then I made it purple. And black. Nice. And I'm making a bike ramp. You're making a bike ramp? Yeah. Can I ride my bike on it? Uh, no, you don't have your bike. <laughs> if I bring my bike, can I ride my bike on it? Yeah. Woohoo! We got these strawberries that had like white chocolate on them, and then like these marshmallows under it, and I got two. Did you make them? They just had them for you? For lunch. That's really sweet. Not for sweet. lunch, but like for a snack. And we had pretzels, water, juice. How fun. Did you meet any friends? Uh, we played a game where like, he, so this is like a fun game. So you keep the blanket up and it's, it's how you like, um, like, so you, if you're a two, you go on this side. If you're one, you go on this side. Uh -huh. And they keep the blanket up and then they keep it down. You gotta guess the name and if you get it, they come to your class. But if they get it, then you come to their side. Wow. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, leave that strip. I wanted that strip left there. That's, yeah, well, just that part. Now get over here. That's great. Cody is doing such a good job.
peeking in. They think this is just as good as entertainment as you guys do. There you go, engaging the blade. Don't let it start, it doesn't need to, it's okay. It's, yeah, no. This is how most professionals mow their lawn, just random strips here and there. They get it, they get it, they get it done. <laughs> he actually did really good over here when I was helping him and kind of working with him, but now he's just going rogue for me. When I was Cody's age six, I had a few lawns of my own that I mowed and got paid to do, and it was just something I always wanted to do. I don't know why I like mowing lawns, and I still love to mow my lawn. It's a little bit hard to pass the mantle. Part of me wants to see him grow and expand what he can do and actually give him some chores and things like that. But the other part of me is like, I really like still mowing my lawn. I really enjoy it. Are you ready to get a sandwich? Me and Olivia made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for everybody. Joel tries to hide the ant situation from me. I don't even dare if I walk back here. Well, I just spread the granules, the poison yeah. back there. Oh, see? Oh my gosh, they're already all over your feet. You bear, oh my gosh. No, I can see the entire ground moving over there. This isn't bad. They've actually settled down. They were bad earlier. the camera it was hours ago do you see how happy he was in going into your arms it's because he's a little hey the while. hey well that's because he's been inside he's while naughty. i was making dinner he was being so naughty so he's like not happy with me right now <laughs> here i'll get it um yes we spent hours in the yard joel went through and put all the little final touches on the pergola here is the final product of our pergola it is finished and I searched for hours and hours trying to find the right pergola to go to, even to determine if I really wanted one, and I finally came across Heartland Pergolas, and I have been totally impressed. It's a good company and a good product they sell, and not only that, multiple days when I was working on it, I got phone calls from the sales rep saying, do you have any questions? What do you need? How can I help? And they're clear in another state, but they were just concerned about anything that goes out their door. Everything was exact and I love it. It's so pretty. It's pretty. We have 100% shade. We don't have, we never have shade. So I usually don't like to come out when it's super hot and we have dinners and stuff. We won't invite people over for barbecues because there's just, just sun on us all the time. And now there's 100% shade. And I just, I hope that everyone can just appreciate its gorgeousness. <laughs> I just like it. I just like it. It feels so good to make the home Nice. Do you know what I mean? Like I know we've been remodeling forever, but making the outside look nice is a big deal too. Okay, I think we're gonna call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it. It was so much fun like working in the yard with you today. That was so fun, was fun. having you yeah. by my little side. You did a lot of work. Look at these pretty flower I had to, beds. I had to get my hat on because I didn't want the sun on my eyebrows. Anyway, it was a lot of fun working mm -hmm. with you. And it was nice that the kids just putted around too. Mm -hmm. Neighbors were here, they went to neighbors. It was just, I mean, the yard looks so good. Uh, the yard looks so good. Joel, thank you for my planter boxes, for putting the pergola up. I was weeding those while you were making dinner. Uh -huh. I did not realize how much I would enjoy them, but like I was really? bending over or nothing. I was just like, <laughs> I feel like there's not enough fatigue. I feel like I'm supposed to be working harder. It was amazing. That's I loved awesome. it. That's awesome. Yeah, tomorrow's lawn day, but we got our lawn done today. We got to do our lawn the day before lawn day. Because it kind of takes forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Hey, can you guys say goodnight? Goodnight! <laughs> what? Do you want to say goodnight to everybody? Goodnight and have a nice night.